The test measures proficiency in English, language arts, and math among third through eighth grade students. Fox 59 State House reporter Hannah Adamson spoke with teachers and Indiana's Secretary of Education about what these results show. According to this year's iLearn assessment data, English language arts proficiency among third through eighth grade students slightly increased compared to last year. However, math scores overall took a downturn after years of progress since the pandemic. For the first time since 2021, math proficiency rates among Indiana's third through eighth grade students dropped overall and remain much lower compared to pre-pandemic numbers. In 2019, nearly 48 percent of third through eighth grade students were proficient in both math and English language arts. In 2024, that number dropped to roughly 41 percent. It's a national recovery. In many respects, it's a global recovery. In an attempt to spot students who may need extra help, the IDOE says its next iteration of iLearn will include three checkpoint tests students will take throughout the school year. We have to ensure that our students have the foundations in reading and math, and it is urgent in order to be ready for the opportunities and options we're trying to develop at the high school level. What we saw again today was the need to be able to recruit and retain highly educated, well-trained people. Jennifer Smith Margraf with the Indiana State Teachers Association says Wednesday's results highlight the need for additional teacher training and retention efforts statewide. We know what we need to do to get back where we need to be is to make sure that we have people in the classroom, that we train and that we keep so that they can improve over time to be the best educators they can be. We need to look at mandating kindergarten we don't in this state. Stacy Kurtilak is a special education teacher at Rensselaer Central High School. She says the state's compulsory school attendance age of seven is setting many students up to fail. For some kids waiting until you're seven and assuming you're going to be able to fully read and, and learn is, is impossible. This comes as the state waits for I read test results. That test was the focus of the Indiana Senate's top bill last session, which mandates third graders who don't pass the test be held back. Dr. Jenner said this year's I read test results will be released in August. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Hannah Adamson.